Hey, we did live. So, I'm back in my room. So, I'm going to tell you basically how it's been these past couple of days. Guys probably been concerned, saying, what's going on? How's everything been going? It's been doing good. Like I said, my I've been doing this stuff with the toy pen. Got his, oh, some toys. Like, these are like some little blocks that he can put in on the side and stuff to play with. Some stuff, um, like squares and stuff so he can learn his shapes and everything like that to go in here. We also have this little roller thing for, um, this actually goes on it, so it's like one of these. He has an iPad that turns on and it blinks, and then also he has like a little phone that he does. I also have a stuffed animal, because he has one with him right now. This is a little playpen, a play area <coughs> that he's going to be in probably when he wakes up after I feed him most of the time. Over here, have his bouncer set with another playpen. I mean, these are just some imaginary animals that I can play with them with because he doesn't have any siblings right now. So I'll just play with them with the imaginary animals. Also, um, I got him a little stuffed animal and stuff like that. And so as far as the clothes that um, we're going to get, because we already decorated the tub for him for when he gets back because he has his own tub to go in there, but we still have toys and stuff in there. So, this is what we got for his bag, his baby bag that he's going to get today when my mom drops off his food for him. Because you guys might say, why can't you go up there and shag off his food? I got into an argument with one of the nurses. So, that's why. So, I usually just pump the food for him, call him on the phone, and talk to him over the phone. But he should be home by Friday, I think. Here's his little backpack. I'm going to bring to him Mar Marines backpack. I know he misses me. I miss him too. So I have his little number on there. In the backpack, we have some shoes for him and some outfits and some hats. So, it's going to be four outfits, two pairs of hats, um, three socks, and one pair of mittens. That's going to be going with him. And this is because um, he's still getting his body heat up, but they said we can start putting clothes on him. He actually only uses eight pampers a day. So, that's good. Eight pampers a day. Um, and then he has about four feedings in the morning and four feedings at night time. And also, um, like I said, this is going to be the first time that I bring clothes from home for him to put on. So I'm excited about it. I just bought four outfits because I would think one outfit a day. And if he's going home on Friday and today's Monday, that should be enough for him. And like I said, some shoes for when he comes out because we already have his um, car seat and everything in the car for him. We're all prepared for him to come home. We are. We're just excited about him. Like I said, he's just basically trying to grow up and get a little bit big because I did have him early. I had him in um, November. November 30th is his birthday, and he was originally due December 12th. So I had him at 38 weeks in one day. So he only had about two weeks left anyway, but that extra time he's spending there just to get a little bit bigger and stuff. And as I'm saying, I mean, now he's drinking three, 30 milliliters of breast milk. And I've been pumping a while, so we're ready to start feeding him regular and get him home so he can sleep. I mean, my room's really warm anyway, so it's better that he gets his body heat up anyway. So, yeah. Also, let's see. So, basically, this is how I've been doing it. So, like I said, they usually feed him at 9, 12, 3. I mean, yeah, 9, 12, 3, 6, and then it goes back to 9 for the nighttime. So, that's 4 at, um, every 3 hours. So, Within 12 hours of morning and 12 hours of night, because that's 24 hours, is going to be eight feedings and eight pampers also with that. So I think that's a pretty good balance. So this is kind of how I set it up in my room. I have the pumps numbered and everything like that. And like I said, I set it up for, um, this is how I name them so they can know which is which. Because I don't want them to get confused with the time that I pump or whatever. Because they have to store it um, in a cool spot and then they heat it up before they, they pump them. And sometimes they use the leftover ones that I have because I've been pumping more than um, the time frame usually. So I have morning. Um, yeah, it's usually set up um, morning, noon, um afternoon evening so morning noon afternoon evening and then it's midnight um and then or no then it's uh it just depends it just depends so this row like i said i'll just n say what i have left because i mean I'm, i mean it makes sense to me how i've been doing it but i'll try to explain it to you guys so basically morning is going to be the 7 30 to 8 o'clock pump feeding that's going to be the morning one. Now, the noon one is going to be the 10, 10 30 to 11 o'clock feeding. That's noon. That's the 12 o'clock noon. Afternoon is going to be the 1 30 to 2 o'clock feeding. So that's afternoon. 
Then, after we do the afternoon, it goes to the evening. And evening is the same as night. That's in my head. Evening is the same as night. So sometimes I'll name it evening, sometimes I'll name it night. And that's going to be 7.30 to 8 p.m. Now, after that one, we have another night one. And that's going to be the um, 10.30 to 11 o'clock. So that's going into midnight. So those are the two ones that are basically the night, but that's what it is. And then after the 10.30 or the um, 10.30 to 12 one, then I have, um, like I said, it will go back to the 3 o'clock one. So sometimes I wake up at 3 in the morning to a pump, which is basically waking up at 125, which is the 131 afternoon, noon, and then again at, um, I mean, it's just off. It's just off. It's just, I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense to me. Basically, it's every three hours. So I have it set on my phone, though. So every three hours I wake up, and usually it's around the same time. Like I said, it's 8. Eight times that I pump within a 24-hour period, and I always write it down and name them for the hospital to take care of them like that. They come in these little containers. This is the last one that I pumped, and I pumped this one at 1030, and it was noon, and it filled up the whole bottle. And like you guys seen before, it was only a little bit in there. Now I'm filling up the whole bottle, so it's pretty good. I have it in one of these containers like this because instead of going all the way downstairs to um, put it in the refrigerator, I have like a chiller thing with a bucket a wet towel in there and then the bottle in there with another like ice pack thing so this whole thing is cool so it can be cool for it and i usually just pump for um 30 to 45 minutes at a time and then put them in here and then walk around or just enjoy and then after that by the time it's time to pump again because like i said i already have a, a alarm on my phone as soon as the alarm goes off I'll come and I'll pump, but I mean, I usually eat three meals a day still though. So I just eat breakfast, eat my lunch and eat my dinner. So three meals a day, pumping eight times a day, making eight bottles. And so he eats, um, eight times a day right now. He's eating eight times a day. So it's pretty good. We're excited for him. We're excited for him, but that's just basically how everything's been since we've been home so far. So Yeah. Yeah, my mom, she's been enjoying them. She's been going up there to deliver the milk and, like, the clothes and things like that. Because, I mean, she usually just drops it off before she goes to work and drops it off after work. And then every time she deliver, delivers it, because, I mean, he has enough to feed throughout the day. Every now and then I'll call him, you know, in the middle of him um, eating and talk to him. Or maybe call him. <laughs> just anytime. I call the hospital just to check up on him. I do a check up on him. So, yeah, we're excited for him. But that's basically the journey so far. See you guys later, being alive.